Uh, what a run for him as he leads the league in points. This brings us to Numbers Don't Lie. We welcome in Mike Kelly, Director of Analytics and Insights. We need one of those, Director of Analytics and Insights. That's a great title from Sport Logic. Uh, Mike, all right, we've, we've delved into some of the great finishes from last night. One finish we didn't delve into is the Toronto Maple Leafs have a night Mitch Marner hat trick in regulation and then the shootout winner. How do you explain this resurgence from number 16 on the Leafs last night? Well, look, here's some simple numbers. When he wears the bubble, he scores three goals a game, right? So he just <laughs> needs to wear the visor every game. I think that's go. the trick. Um, yeah, he was unbelievable. Uh, obvious reasons why, right? He scores the hat trick in the shootout winner. But I think we have got to look at well as one of his line mates who just consistently makes everybody he plays with better. And that's John Tavares. Kind of does it quietly. Nylander, Matthews, Marner get a lot of the hype. One of the things John Tavares does better than anybody is win puck battles. He's number one in the NHL at winning puck battles. And we've seen how that's helped William Nylander this season get off to the crazy start that he did. Mm -hmm. We saw it help Mitch Marner in the game last night. And what, one of the things it does is it opens up second chance opportunities. He's down there digging low, lifting a stick, winning a battle, opens up space, Nylander scores a goal. Those two playing together, Nylander had 12 goals in his first 19 games of the season. All right, well now they need to get Mitch going, right? So they put Marner with Tavares. And what does he do? Wins a puck battle down low, as he does better than anybody else. And that starts this sequence here where Marner scores at the side of the net. Same game. Goes in, wins another battle. A little bit of a pie up the middle here, but we're going to forgive him for that because they end up going with the stretch pass. Marner gets the hat trick goal. So two puck battle wins there that Tavares wins. Those plays don't happen without him doing that. He doesn't get any points in the game. He finishes with no points, but that's the kind of impact that he can have on a guy like Nylander and Mitch Marner. The other thing I'll add is usually Mitch Marner is getting other people going. You know, Tavares helping him there. But Bertuzzi's another guy who's controlled uh, the possession. I think he's had the uh, the lion's share of expected goals. His line has nine straight games in a row. So, you know, Tavares is winning pucks. Bertuzzi's doing really well. For Mitch, that's a really soft spot to come in and shine a little bit. Now, Tavares has really flown under the radar for me. I love that Mike said that because I feel like he gets a little bit of the negative sometimes, but he's playing some really good hockey lately and <coughs> should be getting some flowers. Yeah. yeah, 995 points. Remember, it's the, the Leafs and Bruins. He's closing in on 1,000 points, a great milestone there. All right, so that's the glass half full. The glass half empty would say the Leafs blew a 3-1 lead. Uh, how were they unable <laughs> to hold that lead last night against the Kraken? Yeah, it's been a bit of a problem for them this season, right? They should be having a lot more regulation wins. And when you look at Toronto this season, okay, when they're winning, here's their goaltending, just goal saved above expected, isolated goaltending talent. When they're trailing, they're a top 10 team. Four goals saved above expected. When the game's tied, even better, they're top five, they're goaltending. When they're leading, seven goals almost below expected. That is second worst in the NHL. That's been a problem, and the goalies have talked about it a little bit. When they've got a lead for whatever reason, they're not getting the strong performance from their goaltending that they've been getting otherwise. So, I mean, this goal here, it's a, it's a seam pass. It's one of the best shots from that side of the ice in Jared McCann in the league, but you'd like a save, and that's just one of the things that has been biting them a little bit when you dig into it's not the only thing, but if you had to isolate the biggest thing maybe, it's that the goaltending's kind of dipped when they've gotten a lead or when the game's been tied. Well, it's NFL season. The old prevent defense, often that prevents you from winning a game. So, uh, But they held on. They did win in the shootout last night. Mike Kelly, again, uh, Director of Analytics and Insights from SportLogic. Thank you so much for bringing the insights here on Hockey Central.